In this session, now we're going to look into how to georeference bitmap images so you can uh, use it into your next EFTC project. So what do we, what you have to do when you are doing georeferencing is you have to save an image from Google Earth or somewhere and you have to link the pixels in the image with the real coordinates. So for this example, we are going to use Google Earth and so when you are georeferencing a pixel coordinate to a grid coordinate, you need to uh, you need to reference it for the upper left corner and the lower right, and that's the approach we're going to use. And the bitmaps when you are creating a bitmap, then this will be rota rotated to the north, grid north, and you will use um, JGW file or TFW. Those are the extension files for uh, different single maps. And you can have multiple uh, images together and make us uh, and merge them and create a one georeference file. So that way you can load multiple files together in the in the modal domain. Sometimes one figure is not enough when you are doing georeferencing, especially when you have a bigger um, study area. And at the end, we will be saving the georeferencing file with the extension GEO from EFDC Explorer or CBL Grid. So both of the softwares have the same interface. Uh, you can use uh, whatever you want. So if you want to use um, EFTC Explorer, I think this is from version eight, uh, version eight, 8.3 or 8.2, it still look the same. So you uh, you click on the button next to this bag. Um, that's the utilities, and the first one is bitmap georeferencing, and on CBL Grid there is a button here next to this globe. Uh, previously, we used this um, button load georeference file because we had already created one, but now we are going to create a new one ourselves so that we will create setup. So it will give us the same window which I have not shown here. So in EE, what you do is after you uh, drag and drop the image or open it from here, it will display the name of the file, and then you have to link the two points that would be. To up, to up top left or top right, whichever point you want. So you right click into the image and it will pull out the pixel information. And here is the X and Y uh, coordinate system. Then you have to link that X and Y from the georeference software or uh, from Google Earth if you use Google Earth. And then after you uh, specify those coordinates, then you hit update and your upper left and lower right will be automatically updated. So your grid is now uh, show your image is now georeferenced. So one important thing that you need to use here, you need to uh, we have provided this um, Excel spreadsheet that you will be using to find the there there is a slight difference between the north, true north and grid north. So you need to take into account when you are creating the georeference map. So in Google Earth there is a place where you can enter this information and that way your um, your map will be truly georeferenced so this is the file that's on your distribution I'll show you in a second so what we are going to do is we are going to load uh, this Thonotosa lake in Florida that will, that's the lake that we're going to use uh, in our hands-on later today so uh, so why not use the same model so you can use it, right? Um, so these are different uh, Google Earth options that we will be using. Then we will be selecting a couple, couple points up and down. So and then we will have the coordinates that you can use in order to georeference. So we will select upper left, upper right, and then after you have georeference, it will look like this when you bring it into your EFTC model. So this would be useful to in any project that you do. Now let's go ahead and do it. First, let me show you where that file that we'll be using. So if you go to your uh, training distribution on, on uh, e admins folder under utilities, if you have downloaded the whole folder, you should already have it on the computer. If you have not done so, go to utilities and download this utm grid north .xls file will be using it
and also download this um, pro I think you have downloaded the projects already right so you, ha you have the 2d lake so there is one example already given I just want you to load that into EFDC Explorer and see how it looks and then we can import the image into that model this is just for display purposes so this is the model that we'll be using I will open my EFDC Explorer and just quickly view how our model looks like in order to do that just drag find your folder hydro and drag into this um, yellow space here so then it will it wouldn't take much time it, it just loads and go to view plan this is how your model will look like this afternoon so now we are going to create a geo reference map and then we'll bring it from here where it says this where there is a globe like button which says display geo reference map background so we will bring it bring that map into here to see if we did it right because you need to have some reference to see whether it, the geo referencing you did it is correct or not okay now let's go ahead and open our google earth so first thing we're going to do is find the lake uh, go to search and find lake t h o n o t o s s a florida so if you search it will it should take you to that location where we are interested the spelling is here t h o n o t o s a s s a okay so what we want is import this section of um, image into our map so we know exactly if our grid is representing the shoreline or not for example you get grid from different people if you had created it yourself you might already have the um, overlay file and create um, from the overlay file but you want to verify if the model you got from somebody else is really representing the area that you're interested in or not this would be a good way to verify let's go ahead and now what I want you to do is we want to select two points one on the top left somewhere well above the area of interest somewhere over here we'll select one point and one point somewhere on the down on the bottom so if you hit control U or U it will give you the top view so when you are in the Google Earth you can rotate and whatever you do um, let's hit U so that you are on the true top view first just cl um, click on the U button on your keyboard so it will if it is rotated it will come back to the right position So you need to make sure your grid is on true north here there is a north arrow make sure your north is right at the north where it should be I can delete this place mark okay so le let's go ahead and use this play first thing let's go ahead and go to tools and go to options First, we want to have the coordinates on the um, latitude longitude format so you can e extract those coordinates and use that to find out the difference between grid north and true north using that Excel spreadsheet. Okay, so let's choose two decimal degrees for now. We'll come back again to when we are doing the real ge uh, georeference, we'll use UTM coordinates, but we have to find out the difference between this grid north and the true north. So after you choose this uh, decimal degrees, let's go ahead and click OK. So after you have done, uh, you have changed your coordinates. If you hover over any uh, anywhere, you'll see your lat long changing, and that would, that should be on degrees. That's way to verify which uh, coordinate system you're in. Uh, let's go ahead and now click uh, create a place mark. So when you click on the place mark, it will automatically be centered on the workspace so you just want to drag it somewhere up here 
on the top so that when you're displaying in the model it doesn't show up okay now let's give it this uh, name upper left so another thing what we're going to do that is we're going to change the symbol uh, like this pin to this bullseye in order to do that you uh, click on the button right next to this label and then it will give you several icons to choose from so the icon I would like to use is this over here or the target is everyone following so far okay let's go ahead and click OK um, you can see the text is kind of overlapping so uh, go to the name and create couple put couple of spaces so it's separate from the symbol so it's easier to use we are going to use this image to do the georeferencing later so we want to find out this exact middle point so we're getting it right go ahead and click OK so next thing what we're going to do is find the lower point um, I would just create another place mark and drag it somewhere here okay so that would be my upper left lower right similarly I think it, it automatically recognizes that you want the bullseye for that if it does not just go ahead and change the icon to bullseye and click OK. Yeah, I think 